How's it going everybody? My name is Rodrigo. I'm here with uh, Fender Musical Instruments showing off our new effects pedals at the 2019 NAMM show. Um, we've got a few new pedals to add up to the, to the lineup this time. Um, we've got a new tube distortion, uh, a bunch of cool modulation effects, uh, a really cool dedicated reverb and tremolo effect that I'm really excited about, and then uh, something for the bass players as well too. Uh, Downtime Express is our brand new kind of multi-bass effect, which is a one-stop shop for bass players. Uh, so I'm going to start by showing you uh, our brand new tube distortion pedal, which is called the MTG. Uh, this is designed in collaboration with Bruce Egnator, so we're really excited to be able to put his name on this pedal. So let's hear it. So here's my guitar dry. Let's kill the reverb there real quick. is real simple, just three band EQ with a tightness control that basically uh, acts kind of as a high pass filter, lets you kind of tighten up the low end a little bit. Of course you've got a level which is your overall output and a gain control right here. Lots of nice rich warm tube overdrive and you've also got a foot switchable boost here that you can configure to add a second stage of gain or just to add some more clean level to your signal so let's listen to what that sounds like. the MTG, Tube Distortion. Uh, moving down the line, we've got our Lost Highway, which is an analog phaser. Uh, one cool thing, just to point out about these three new modulation pedals, is they've got two separate uh, depth and rate controls for uh, for each of the parameters. So you've got a fast and a slow foot switch on all of them. You can toggle between the fast and slow settings either using the foot switch or using uh, this sensitivity control right here, uh, which will let you set a dynamic threshold. So basically, let me kind of show you what I mean by that. So you can hear right now I've got two different phaser speeds set. We've got a rate and a depth here for the slow and a rate and a depth here for the fast. And right now my guitar is actually going to toggle between those two with the dynamics of my playing. So. so you can hear the phaser speed up and slow down kind of based on a predetermined threshold that you set right here. So. Take it a little bit harder, it'll speed up. So you've got both uh, triangle and sine wave uh, phase types on here, and on the back there's a, a dedicated 3 dB uh, boost switch that you can engage for some of the, the signal loss that sometimes occurs with phaser pedals. Uh, we've also got the bubbler, which is our chorus right here. Same uh, dynamically sensitive rate control, right? You can hear when I hit the guitar a little bit harder, it gets kind of extra wiggly and seasick there. So it allows you to control the speed of the chorus with the dynamics of your playing, same as the Lost Highway. Um, moving along here into our two stereo effects, we've got our pinwheel, which is a, a Leslie and rotary speaker emulator, so let's hear what that sounds like. Basically here you get two different types of Leslie, there's three modes, two of which are a Leslie and the third one which is a, uh, a vibratone effect, which is pretty cool sounding. You can hear the same dynamic uh, rate control engaging there, taking me to that faster speed. Uh, additionally, on the pinwheel, there's a brake function here. So if you have this going, you know, real nice and fast, you can use this second foot switch to slow down to a complete stop, just like with a, an actual Leslie, which is really cool. Um, this is keyboard player friendly, so there's a voicing switch on the back that lets you choose whether you're, you're using a full range amp or a guitar type amplifier. Um, and you can also control the speed of the rotary with a, a, a expression pedal with this particular unit. So that's kind of cool as well. Uh, finally, going into the tray verb here, we've got basically three different types of Fender tremolo and three different types of Fender reverb. We've got optical bias and harmonic on the tremolo side, and 63, 65, and a plate reverb uh, on the reverb side. 
Um, so you can basically dial in some really, you know, kind of classic Fender amp tones in one box here. So I'll just throw them on at the same time so you can hear that. Sorry, the bias there. A little bit smoother sounding. There's, there's kind of your Fender amp tone in a box, if you will. There's also a cool plate reverb setting on here for some of that really nice, long, ambient, spacey kind of sounding stuff. Um, there's also a path switch on the back, which is something uh, interesting to note. You can change the uh, the order of the reverb and tremolo, so you can put one before the other, or vice versa. Uh, and then finally here, the Downtown Express is the only one that I don't have plugged in. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's a one-stop shop for bass players, as I mentioned before. Compression, overdrive, and EQ. Uh, there's a dedicated XLR output on the back, and you can send that either pre- or post-effects if you're recording or going into a, a house PA system. Dedicated mute button foot switch right there, and a tuner output, so you can run your favorite tuner and have a dedicated dedicated mute button for that. Um, everything's individually foot switchable. Um, so this is kind of our, our just one-stop shop for bass players. And that kind of rounds out the new six uh, for, for this 2019 release. Thank you guys for checking them out. Enjoy the rest of the show.